Hi everyone, this is Phyllis, Silver Cats Crafts, and this is going to be the second in my series I'm doing on beginner duct tape crafts. Uh, this one's going to be done uh, very simply on a duct tape keychain, and uh, here's a couple that I had already made. Um, these are have Velcro dots so that they can be unfastened and you can loop them around a purse strap or around your um, uh, belt loops um, anything you want to carry it on big enough to easily slide your hands in and out so this is a real good uh, second beginner duct taper craft and of course all you need is like a cutting surface uh, your ruler uh, for cutting straight lines um, your velcro dots uh, two coordinating colors of duct tape. I'm going to use the pink camo and black uh, today. So we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, first what you want to do is go ahead and cut a length of uh, duct tape that is 15 inches long and then a coordinating color cut it two inches long and then cut it down the middle so you've got two uh, one inch pieces one by two basically and then what you'll do is go ahead and pull up your long piece of duct tape and turn it over sticky side up and you want to hold uh, fold it um, in threes basically is what we're doing so you're gonna grab it at the end I uh, find it easier and then just fold it over about one-third of the way and then slowly smooth it down across trying to keep any air bubbles from being in there and smooth that down if you come find that you do get an air bubble a quick little tip or trick is to just take your knife and simply put a little hole in there and smooth it out it pops the bubble and then you don't have any more air bubbles and then you're going to fold the other side other side up and you can start in the middle and just kind of fold against the natural line that's already there from the other piece just kind of slowly slide it along to both ends so it's nice and straight nice and flat all right so that's the main part already done and then you can go ahead and you can take one of your little pieces of duct tape oh I forgot to cut it well let me go ahead and do that I thought I had already cut it but maybe I didn't let's see I thought I had trimmed it maybe I didn't cut it through hard enough well let's just do it again So you'll take <clears throat> one piece and you'll go ahead and lay it sticky side up. And what you want to do is try to take one edge, the good side right here, and lay it down about so far I'd say about three quarters of an inch in the center and then you're going to take and you're going to cut little boxes out of your tape right here at the edge that's what it means when you hear everyone in tutorials saying to cut your boxes out And then what you want to do is go ahead and fold the sticky over on top. And then fold the top edge down. This seals the edge so you don't have any sticky showing on the edge. Alright, and then what we need to do is we need to get our... Um, 
key ring, and I think that's where I forgot to get ready was my key ring. Just one moment here. You can use the large size or the small size, whatever your preference is on uh, who you might be making it for. I'm going to use a small one this time. And so we're going to take on the opposite end, and we don't have to worry about covering it because it will be covered. We're going to loop it through, and it's about can be about one inch to uh, three quarters of an inch over and normally what I do here is I um, hot glue um, and I um, or used your E6000 the E6000 glue is really good uh, it holds very well once it's dry so in this case I think I'm going to use my glue you can use duct tape for this also or hot glue let me make it a little bit since I'm using this. So what I'm doing is going to take and put a dab of glue. This is just for extra holding because we are actually going to put a piece of duct tape over this. But it helps to make it a little bit stronger hold if you do the hot glue um, or the E6000. And then try not to touch that glue because it's really nasty stuff. Go ahead and put that down. And we are going to put duct tape over the top of this so it actually holds real good. Alright, and then we're going to get our other piece of duct tape that we had cut. And it's cut, like I mentioned before, um, approximately one inch uh, by the two inches. I want it just a little bit thinner. This is just personal preference. I'm going to cut this at three quarters of an inch. I'm using my little card here. And then I'm going to take the sticky side up and I want to catch half of my edge. Come on, whoops. I think I cut that crooked a little bit. Oh, uh, you're going to catch half of the edge of where this joins and half on the regular. If you can see what I'm doing here, I want to catch it about halfway through through. Whoops, come on. Okay. So, you can see there's going to be sticky catching this lip right here. So you're going to go ahead and fold this over. Push that down. And then fold the other side over. So we've caught the little bit of the edge on the tape that just helps to seal it in. Okay, so this is how it looks. You've got it just like this. Now we're going to put our Velcro on. And when you fasten it, it's going to go right here. To try to actually hide the edges here, I actually take my Velcro dot and I stick it on top of that right in the center and then I take my little other side of my velcro dot and put it on top there and then go ahead and match this up and just push down I like to push it and then I like to really squeeze it so the sticky is on there really good and the first time you pull it apart, um, it's going to be a little bit harder. I like to hold on to it just a little bit so they don't come apart. Um, once you leave these on here um, for about 20 hours, excuse me, 12 hours, they're really stuck good. And they're not just going to come off on you real easy. 
So here you go. You've got your easy second duct tape craft uh, keychain. Uh, they're very handy. There's all different patterns out there that you can choose from to make them. They make excellent uh, Christmas presents, stocking stuffers. So you can do this for your friends and family. So um, I'm going to think of some other simple, easy duct tape items for those that are just getting started for my series. And again, if you have any suggestions on you think that something you made when you first started that was real easy that you think other people would like to know how to do, let me know and I'll do a tutorial on it. I will hopefully have some more duct tape tutorials up real soon and some duct tape crafts. I kind of got off uh, my schedule when I started making Rainbow Loom. I'm still going to do Rainbow Loom, but I'm going to try to make it 50-50. Um, and I appreciate everyone that has stuck with my channel, even if you weren't really interested in Rainbow Loom. Um, I really do appreciate it. I appreciate all my subscribers. Thank you very much uh, for staying with me. Hope you enjoyed this uh, little easy tutorial. And I will be back soon. Thanks. Bye, everyone.